Well, this is a fantastic device to keep people enslaved forever. And to cover this, there's a whole lot of other stories which I don't want to enter, a phenomenal tools to control populations, which has been successfully done for a long time. It depends on how we shaped ourselves. If we become wonderful human beings, it's one thing. If we have become an ugly manifestation of humanity, definitely it's an original sin. It's a mistake. Sin is too strong a word, maybe it's a mistake. <laughs> so too many mistakes are being made in the world, no question. You claim to <clears throat> appreciate or, well, you worship the one who is referred to as the creator, but you have a huge issue with the creation. If you do not appreciate the creation, why the hell should you worship the creator? Someone who made such a bad job, of this, <laughs> the only way you can even be born is through sin, I think he must be banished. <laughs> now this is a fantastic device to keep people enslaved forever. If you do not even allow them to come to terms with their biology, they'll never come to terms with anything in their life. Always they will be dependent on an institution or a person or something who claims to have connections. An Italian mafia guy was once brought to the law court and uh, he just walked in with his fat cigar in his hand and like this he came and sat down like he's a guest. Then the judge looked at his arrogance and asked, do you have a lawyer? He blew the smoke out and said, well, I got friends in the jury. <laughs> so, <laughs> People who are supposed to have connections elsewhere, you will always be enslaved to them because you feel guilty about your biology. This whole thing goes into more grosser and grosser states. So except in certain cultures, everywhere else where dominant religious beliefs were spread, in all those cultures, unfortunately, they make you feel guilty of your very existence because that way you will always be enslaved to whatever they have set up. Something so fundamental as the menstrual cycles in a woman, she has to feel guilty about it and she's impure. Her existence is impure. Unfortunately, I want you and all the teachers of the world to understand, if your mother did not have menstrual cycles, she wouldn't be born, even if she met your father. <laughs> yes. So the life-making material, unused, is what it is. And if that is impure, your very birth is impure, that's what they're anyway trying to tell you, that your birth is impure. And to cover this, there's a whole lot of other stories which I don't want to enter <laughs> Once you are not in terms with your own physical existence, you are essentially will never ever be in terms with any other dimension of your life. This itself will cover you forever. This is… this is a fantastic trick to keep you enslaved forever. No wonder institutions have lasted 
Though they've lost their relevance, they stay simply because your existence, your very existence you're guilty of. If you're guilty of your very existence, that means one or that which is the source of creation should be even more guilty. You are eternally guilty and that which is created all this must be even more carrying the burden of guilt. Guilt and fear have been a phenomenal tools to control populations, which has been successfully done for a long time. It's time this is broken.